Cover your going out and your coming in with the blood of Jesus. Yes, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. And Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. I cover me, my husband, Lord, my children, Lord, with the blood of Jesus. Lord Christ, chop with the blood of Jesus. Masheteli, get it over. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us to pray. Everything that wants to cost me sorrow. Father, uproot in the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus? Whatsoever wants to cost me sorrow. Lord, uproot right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything, everything that might want to cost me sorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus. I hope you are praying. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatsoever it is that want to cause me sorrow, in the mighty name of Jesus, all the way uproot. In the name of Jesus, Rakesha tala brali godolo bobo bosoto radele kete ya dalagada baba. Are you uproot right now? All the way uproot them right now. In the name of Jesus, uproot them right now. In the name of Jesus, uproot them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, uproot them, Lord, Father, uproot them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Uproot them right now, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Reketele boro godo bo shotayala baba. Maketele brali kolobo bo sokoto yodo. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray that Lord, let your everlasting arm. Let what? If there be any sorrow. Say it after me. If there be any sorrow. Or any loss. Or any failure. Or any calamity. Coming from the future. Father, take away in the name of Jesus. Shall we turn that to prayer right now in the mighty name of Jesus? Let your everlasting arm, Lord God Almighty Lord. Any failure, every sorrow, every loss, calamity in the name of Jesus. Take away right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, Makaraba Shatali Gede Legede Gede Rakoto Lobo Shoto Legede Legede In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Hey, oh, Marekala Bobo Sokoto Yodo Lobo Hey, sorrow, loss, calamity Hey, in the name of Jesus Anyone coming, Oluwao Let your everlasting arm take away right now In the mighty name of Jesus Let your everlasting arm take away right now In the mighty name of Jesus Take away right now In the name of Jesus Take away right now in the name of Jesus, take away right now. In the name of Jesus, take away right now. In the name of Jesus, take away right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, take away right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Marabako Shatalababa. In Jesus' name we pray. Three powerful amen. Amen. I want us to pray. Father, I will not weep any longer. I shall weep no more. Shall we begin to pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus? Weeping is not my portion. If I weep, it's for joy. <laughs> it's for promotion, oh God. Weeping is not my portion. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If your husband is here, hold him. If your wife is here, hold her. If yours is not here, find somebody to hold. We are going to be agreeing. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. We are going to be agreeing. Hallelujah. The Bible says one we chase how many? And, and two we chase what? So it is something that we cannot even multiply. Amen. Hallelujah. I want us to pray. Every plant that God did not plant in this body. <laughs> Oh, yeah, out in the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus? Everything that God has not planted in this body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, out in the name of Jesus. Every sickness out in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that God has not planted in this body. Oh, yeah, get out in the name of Jesus. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Get out. Broccolins. 
Mashanda di gede de gede de bo. Rage de le bo sakara. Okay. All right. Hold. Oh, you are praying in the name of Jesus. Mare kalaba shanda la gadaraba. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out in the mighty name of Jesus. Rake de bo shanda la gadabo. Maka sekete le gede gede. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go go igiti olu ami ogbe. Oh yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Get out right now. Get out right now. Get out right now. Get out right now. In the name of Jesus. Get out right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Makete lege de borogodo boshodo logodo. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. It is when you are weeping or something is wrong that you should call upon Jesus. It is pride that will not allow us to call upon Jesus. And uh, the Lord will help us not to be proud. In the mighty name of Jesus. Peter was a failure. He was what? How did I know? The Bible says that he thought all night. A person that is, hold, hold my sister, hold, hold, hold. We are not going to agree today. The devil is a liar. He is a defeated foe today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know what he did? He said, ah, oh God, Murray. Like they used to say in those days. Oh God, Murray, what is going on here? I have thought and thought and I have... What is going on? I cannot even get anything. He was a failure. Nothing to, nothing to write home about. Nothing whatsoever. He had sought for job. He had sought for this. He had sought for that. Every business came, came crumbling down. What happened? He invited Jesus. He did what? Jesus said, okay, you want me to come? He said, okay, uh, you can use the boat after all. <laughs> There's nothing to even write home about. Uh, come, 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 come. But by the time it was true, <laughs> a sinking, a kind of miracle that can sink a boat, that can sink a ship, that was what the Lord gave to him. That was the Lord gave to me. The Lord will give it to you. May I hear him? I want us to pray. Lord, I invite you. Invite Jesus. Invite Jesus. Invite him. Invite him to that situation. Invite him to your home. Invite him to that situation. Invite him to that your life. Invite him to that situation. Invite Jesus. Invite Jesus. Invite Jesus. Invite Jesus. Hey, Maraboko shodolo gede gede. Rakete la gara. Nigba toba nira nigba tole koko. Kekwe Jesu o makaraba shatalaba. Invite Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray. A boat sinking kind of miracle. A boat sinking kind of miracle. Father, I receive. Shall we pray? In the name of Jesus. Hey, Makashadalabo. A boat sinking kind of miracle. I receive. 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 Rekekalabo Shatalababa. Hey, as you are using one hand to hold your sister, use one hand to draw it to yourself. I receive it. 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 Maregorobobo Shodalagalaba. Maketeli Gadebo. I receive it. In the name of Jesus, I receive it. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now your neighbor that you are holding, say, Lord Jesus, whatsoever is the heart desire of this, my sister or my brother, Give it to him. Give it to her. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Give it to him. Give it to her. Give it to him. Give it to her in the name of Jesus. What is the desire of my sister or my brother? Lord, give it to her. Give it to him. Give it to your daughters and your sons, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Give it to your daughters and your sons. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give it to your daughters and your sons, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maraboka shatala gada baba baba. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray, Father, favor Christ Chapel. Shall we turn that to prayer in the mighty name of Jesus? Lord, favor your church. Favor us, O God. Let your mercy go with us. Thank you, Lord. Baba, favor us. 
Allah bada Allah favor us, Lord. Jehovah favor us, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord favor us, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Makere boboro godobo shadala baba. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. One last prayer. I'm going to share a story with us. We can release our hands. Hallelujah. Daddy Gio was sharing a story. He was, he was getting late. He was already late for a particular crusade. Because God can use anybody to do what he wants to do. Do we agree? He can use stone. He can use, use anyone. All right? Once he has made up his mind to beautify your life. May your life be beautiful. In the mighty name of Jesus. So he said he was very, very late. Though, and they, they ran to hold up. And what would they do? They can't climb um, the vehicles ahead of them. So he was just sitting down there. So what happened? <laughs> A madman. Say madman. <laughs> A madman came and just bounced the, the car in front of him. And of course, because he was a known, a well-known, notorious madman, everybody started to just clear the road. He was just going. But he told the driver of Daddy Gio, follow me. <laughs> and you know what happened? Cleared the road and made way for him. And you know what? He, Daddy Gio said, as they were about to drive off, the man just came to where Daddy Gio was sitting and just saluted and just bowed to him. I pray for you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will make way for you. He will use some extraordinary means that he himself has proposed. He will make way for you. He will make road for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pastor was telling us something. He said, anywhere you see in the Bible that you see Lord of hosts with a promise that means you need to tie your gado because whatsoever that promise is, it has battle attached to it. Most of our promises has battle attached attach to it. But today, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, with the God that we are serving in Christ Chapel, the God of the redeemed Christian Church of God, by the mercy of the Lord, the Lord of hosts will fight your battle. The Bible said the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. I want you to pray this prayer. Lord of hosts. Clear the way for me. Turn that to prayer right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Clear the way for me. Oluwa. Oluwa elano. 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 Olu shegu aja shegu. Rake kalabo shatala gana baba. Lord, clear the way for me. Clear the road for me. By the means that you alone will do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Clear the road for me. Clear the way for me, Lord. Make a way for me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Clear the way for us. Make a way for us, oh God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Three powerful amen. 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 Father, we are grateful this morning. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your mercy that is speaking for us. Father, be exalted in Jesus' name. The Lord said, I should tell somebody, there is a particular phone call that you have been expecting. Yes. Said, this very week, this very week, you will receive in Jesus' name. Make sure you share that testimony. Make sure you share that testimony. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for making ways for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Odogunaga Dikenaga. Thank you, Ajagumolu Ajashegu. Thank you, Father, because we know that you have done it. Glory and honor be unto your name. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shall we sit briefly? Hallelujah. We are still going to stand to pray. Amen? Amen. The topic that God gave me this morning is when God says no. When what? 
When God says no, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank the Lord for this opportunity. Pastor is away in uh, Manitoba at this time. And I thank God for this opportunity to bring the word for us. It's not by power, nor by might. So I want to thank the Lord for this opportunity. I salute the grace and the anointing over my husband. And I thank God for this opportunity to bring the word. And I know that the Lord himself uh, will bless us as we listen in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When God says no, thank you, Lord. Acts chapter 16, verse 6 to 10. Acts 6, 6 to 16, 6 to 10. Amen. Now when they had gone throughout Phrygia and the region of Galatia and were forbidden of the Holy Ghost to preach the word in Asia. Seven, please, let's make it haste. After they were come to Mysia, they assailed to go into Bithynia. But the Spirit suffered them not. And they, passing by Mysia, came down to Troas. Please go ahead. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. There stood a man of Macedonia and prayed him, saying, come over into Macedonia and help us. Ten. And after he had seen the vision, immediately we endeavored to go into Macedonia, assuredly gathering that the Lord had called us for to preach the gospel unto them. Amen. I say amen. amen. Hallelujah. When God says no, there are times that God will say no. At times, you will know that God is saying no. At times, you will not even know. At times, you may begin to wonder what is actually going on here. Amen. But when God says no, what must you do? What should you do? Number one, trust the Lord with your plans. Do what? Proverbs 19, 21, Psalm 33, verse 11. But please, can you show Proverbs 16, 1 and Proverbs 16, 9? Trust the Lord with your plans. Amen? Proverbs 16, 1. Said the preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. May you receive a favorable answer. I say you will receive favorable answer in the name of Jesus. Verse 9 of this particular, uh, oh yes. A man's heart devised his way, but the Lord directed his steps. Amen. Trust the Lord with your plans. The Bible says, I, I believe that is in James, that the Bible says that you should not be saying, oh, I'll see you tomorrow. You should say, I will see you tomorrow by God's grace. If the Lord wills. Hallelujah. We shall not die young. In the mighty name of Jesus. Number two, don't stop believing the word of God. What has the Lord told you? Don't stop believing it. Remember Joseph. Genesis chapter 45 verse 4 to 9. Genesis, Genesis 45, 4 to 9. Hallelujah. He was, he knew. And Joseph said unto his his brethren, come near to me, I pray you. And they came near. And he said, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you sold into Egypt. The Lord showed him what he will become. And it seems as if, in fact, right from the time that the Lord showed him what he will become, what happened? The thing went out. It just went the other way. And it looked as if, ah, it ain't gonna happen, no. Ah, this plan is not going to come to pass. That plan will come to pass. The promises of the Lord concerning your life will come to pass. Amen. That songwriter says, every promise, everything that God has promised you, it shall come to pass. It, they will come to pass in Jesus' mighty name. She, he did not stop believing the word. That was the reason why when uh, 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 Potiphar's wife came to him and said, sleep with me. He said, how could I do this kind of thing and do what? And sin against God. I guarantee you, brothers and sisters, the enemy, especially our youth, even adults, even married people, they will always come with sexual sins just for one purpose, to take away that plan that God has for you, away from you. Run. Flee. The man fled. 
The man ran naked of the house. He said, you have the cloth. Why I have my promise. You can hold the cloth while I hold the promises of the Lord. We shall not be defeated in Jesus' mighty name. One thing is for sure. You will not die before your time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever the Lord has promised you, by the mercy of the Lord, they shall come to pass. So we said number one, when God says no, what should you do? Number two, don't stop believing the word of God. I normally encourage people, bring notes to church. Mm -hmm. Don't just come and do like this. Get your notes and write things down. Or you get your tablet and begin to write things down. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Number three, keep praying. Do what? Do what? First Thessalonians 5.17, Luke 18.1. Shall we do Luke 18.1, please? Luke 18.1. Luke 18, 1. Amen. And he spake a parable, this was Jesus, unto them to this end, that men ought always to do what? And not to? You pray. You pray, you want to eat? Pray. You want to drink? Father, thank you for this water. In Jesus' name, amen. It won't take you, how many seconds is that? Three seconds, thank you. You want to drink water? Pray. Ah, uh ah. -uh. This pastor Titi said, what are you talking about? I have seen people that drank water and they choke. And from there, they died. Some people were eating and the bones just cooked their, their, this thing. And they, from there, they were gone. You are eating, pray. Everything, you pray. That is why the Bible said that we should pray. We should pray what? We quote it a lot, but are you praying? When it seems as if God is saying no. Ah, I don't even know what you are doing. Lord, there is a delay. There is a delay. I have a friend that, I mean, waited upon the Lord for 16 years. But God already told them that, look, I will give you a twin. And they said, okay, God, make it, since you have delayed up this, make it for them. Okay, we bargained. They were bargaining with God. But what happened? By the time God answered them, they had triplets. So it's center. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord will answer you. I say, God will answer you. In the mighty name of Jesus, don't, I mean, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Men ought always to pray. You see, men, men, at least there's no woman. <laughs> Hallelujah. But men there is talking about men and women. And not to faint. Don't give up. Pray. Hallelujah. Number four, keep working. W-O-R-K. Keep working for the Lord. You are an usher, shout the thing very well. You are a choir, choir the thing very well. Do the choiring very well. Usher it properly. You are sweeping the, the church, sweep it very well. Whatsoever you are doing, like my brother now is helping us with the camera. Do the camera thing properly. Don't take your eyes off it. In case I move, you move with me. Walk, walk for the Lord. Oh, you know, I don't really have time, you know. I get to, oh, you better work, oh. All the other things will not count. It is what you do for the Lord that you will take to heaven. The Lord will ask you, what have you done for me? Work for the Lord. First Corinthians 12, 7. Like for now, we need people, we need teachers for our children. Yes. Oh, Pastor Titi, I, I, I can't, I can't. The children, I cannot contain them. You can't. You can do it. We need them. Go and pray. We need teachers. Work for the Lord. When it seems as if God is saying no, work for the Lord. Number five, keep watching. Matthew 24, 42 to 44. Mark 13, 33. Keep watching. Watch and pray. Keep watching. Matthew 24, 42 to 44. Mark 13, 33. Matthew 24, 42 to 44. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. I gave my life to Jesus when I was 13 years. It's been, I don't know how many decades now. But you know what? Right from there, they have been telling us, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. Ah, there is a song we used to sing those days. Mm. Ah. Oh, Lord, I forgot just now. Mm. When Jesus comes to take away his people, 
Then ask yourself, right now, where will you, where will you be? I, we, we use this for special number. And it looks as if Jesus is not coming. Jesus is coming. No? <laughs> ah, you know the other time we were, we were having devotion at home. <laughs> and we said, Jesus can come at any time. And I saw my children just whispering to themselves. Later I found out it looks as if they want to get married <laughs> before Jesus comes. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's good. I did it myself. When I was hearing that Jesus is coming, I said, Lord, Jesus, come. I was a teenager then. Jesus, come, Mojare. But as I grew to my 20s, I said, Jesus, just hold on a little bit. <laughs> ah, let me get married. Ah, Mbanu, you have gotten married. So it's even more difficult. Jesus will come. Watch. When it seems as if Jesus, God is saying no, watch. Number six, remember all things, either good or bad, work together for your good. Yes, sir. <laughs> either good or bad, do what? He's working together for your good. And that's the word for you, bro. All things working together for your good, I tell you. A woman was praying, a, 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 a pastor friend of us, her twin were in Ukraine. They were studying um, to become doctor. So they finished and they wanted to do, I believe it's residence that they do after you qualify or something like that. So they were praying, Lord, please uh, let them stay in that Ukraine. Lord, please. Uh, they were, uh, it was a serious talk of war. Lord, do it, Baba. Do it. Uh, do it. Do it. Uh, you know the prayer now. Why you are praying? Ah, uh, Lord, do it. Ah, uh, Father, do it. God just kept quiet. And what happened? The visa expired. And visa expired. What do you do? You leave. If I'm not mistaken, just two weeks after those children left, the war in Ukraine started. But what did the woman and began to say? The, and the papa, they started to say, thank you, Jesus. Eh? The love. <laughs> Meanwhile, when God did not answer, ah, God, you did not do it. Oh. Ah, Lord, you did not do it. Meanwhile, God kept quiet. Why? Because all things, his silence was working together for their good. You may not know it. You may not know how. You may not know where, but you will. Ha! Ah, trust God fully. His silence may mean that he's trying to take you away from harm. What will, I don't know, what would she have done? Twins. Her first children. Her heart, I'm sure. What are you even talking about? The woman would have, with all those wars, but thank God. When the Lord is silent, when it seems as if he's saying no, trust him fully. Believe in that word. He's working for your good. Romans 8.28. Romans 8.30. Keep hope up. Keep your hope up. Keep it alive. Keep it alive, sisters. Brothers, keep it alive. And what must you do while you are remembering that all things work together for your good? Love the Lord. The Bible says to them that love the Lord. That's number one. Number two. To them who are the called. You are the called. Once you give your life to Jesus, you are the called. And you are here. You have not given your life to Jesus. You better do so. You have been hearing it. Born again, born again, born again. Some people even modernize it now. You got to have B-A. Ah, it's not B-A, it is born again. Because at times when you say B-A, some people may say, think this is Bachelor of Heart. It is not. It is born again. Call it born again. Because B-A too can be born again. It is born again. You must be born again. You are not born again. You ain't making it to heaven. You must be born again. You love the Lord and you are the called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I said, thank you, Jesus. Another story was told of a, of, a, of a couple. They were trusting the Lord. The Lord told them, resign. He was a lawyer. I believe the woman was a stay-at-home mom. But that man, he was a lawyer and he was receiving a lot of good money. And the Lord said, the two of you, I need you full time. 
So he went and he told them in the office, okay, in the next one month, I'm out of here. Believing God that they will get this, uh, uh, go into Bible college. So they've already put up uh, application and they promised them, don't worry, everything will be fine. You will get in. It was getting to the time they need to get out of the uh, office. Then the Bible college said, I'm, we are sorry. It's full. The place is full. And they went back to God. But God, you called us. But God, you said we should go. But God, you did this. That God said you should go does not mean that you will not face so many oppositions. But one thing is sure. It's working out for your good. I say God is working out for your good. But what happened? God seemed to say no. He just kept quiet. He wasn't saying anything. But what really happened? They could not get into that place that they wanted to. But God opened another door for them. They've been there now for more than 30 years. That same place for 30 years. God is doing something for you. You just hold on. Keep your hope up. Hold on to it. Do what? Hold on. Keep the hope up. The Lord bless us all in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. And remember, when we mean all things, all things. Good, all things. Persecution, all things. Miscarriage, all things. Ah, Sister Titi, what are you talking about? Are you saying miscarriage? Oh, yeah, I've been there before. I know what it means. Oh, yeah. Whatsoever it is. Whatsoever. Sufferings. Calamities. Whatsoever. God is there. He's working something out for your good. And you will soon see the good. You will see the goodness of the Lord in this land of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number seven, I believe, live a holy life. Run away from sin. Run away from hell. Live a holy life. Ah, Pastor Titi has come again. No? All this holiness thing. Oh yes, live a holy life. Without which no man can see God. Daddy Gio said, holiness simply means obedience. God says sit, you sit, stand, you stand, eat, you eat. Read that three verses of the scriptures, you read it. Read the scriptures, you read it. Go out, you go out. Come back in, you sleep, you sleep. It just means obedience, obey. Bible says that all, obe all disobedience is what? Sin. When you, do when you disobey, you are sinning. You just obey. Obey the Lord. Obey the Lord. Live a holy life. First Peter chapter 1 verse 16. Leviticus 11, 44 to 45. Leviticus 11, 44 to 45. Leviticus 19, 2. Isaiah 35, 8. Run away from sin, brethren. Run away from sin. The earth is polluted. The world is polluted out there. Run away from sin. So that your prayers might be answered. The Lord will answer us in Jesus' mighty name. Number eight. Keep your fire burning. Keep that fire burning. Keep the fire of your prayer burning. Keep it burning, mothers. Keep it burning, daddies. Keep it burning. It is time for us to rise up and begin to pray. The world is waiting for that fire. They are waiting. Oh, you know, I'm not the pastor. No. When Jesus was going, he didn't say, pastors, go into the world and preach. He said, just do what? Go. You and I. He didn't say, oh, it is only the, for the evangelists and the pastors and the prophets. No. He said, all of us should do what? Go. The world is waiting for us. Tell your neighbor. Face the neighbor. I have face. If you don't have a neighbor, face me. Bro, sister is facing you. Face her. Say, go. go. The world is waiting for you. <laughs> now change another neighbor. See, go. go. The world is waiting for you. Hallelujah. Mothers, this is the time that we are supposed to go. We got to do what? Go. For school reasons, go. Let them know you in your children's school. Yes. Teach those children in the way they should go. So that when they, when they are old, they will not depart from it. Amen? Amen. Hmm. It is well with us in Jesus' mighty name. Keep the fire burning. Leviticus chapter 6 verse 12. Please, can we read that? Leviticus 6, 12. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Leviticus 6, 12. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He said, and the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. It must be a continuous thing to do. The fire of your Bible study, the fire of your prayer, the fire of your studying the word, the fire of your reading the word, the fire of your uh, 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 devotion, the fire of everything, it must be burning. It must, wherever you go to, anywhere you are, the fire must be burning. The world is waiting for us. They want to see the difference. Oh, they are part of us. Don't mind them. They are part of us. A Christian, a, a brother, he decided to compromise. Meanwhile, they've been testing him and testing him. And it keeps passing. It keeps passing. But the pressure was too much. The pressure was a lot. So he gave in. And when he gave in, the, the boss called him and said, oh, you disappointed me. You disappointed me. This was your last test. I was just thinking, if you pass this one, that's your Jesus that you have been talking about, I will accept him. But you really disappointed me. The man started crying, I'm sorry, blah, 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 blah. That he, 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 that he, does not, he doesn't have any excuse that he was sorry. The man just said, okay, well, I still want to accept this, your Jesus, anyway. He accepted Jesus, but he was fired. Where am I going to? Don't give up. Don't give in. Let your fire be going. Here, so many things you can, I mean, can be done. I mean, uh, I remember a brother of ours was told, you know what? Try and um, marry somebody. But he said, look, I have a wife at home. Eh, it does not matter. Discuss with her. And um, once you get your paper, divorce the, 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 uh, the they call them Onyibo wife. Divorce, divorce the, the wife. And then you can go and bring your, 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 your wife. And that was what he did. As at the time that we met him, that was in year 2000, that we, we met him, his life was, Oh, Lord. He was, he was bitter. In fact, pastor just told him, he said, look, go and tell the government what happened. And if they want to send you home, go back home. Go back home. Canada is not heaven. What will, what will, what will you gain? You, because of your wife or your husband. Keep your fire burning. Let everybody know who you are. Hmm. You can live up to 150 years on earth. You cannot compare it to eternity. Eternity does not have a time associated with it. It is eternal. It's something that is continuous. It's going and going and going. So that means millions, for five, 15 million, we are still there singing praises to our God. So will you now use the, the, uh, uh, the Yorubas we say if it's okay, kere I don't know how to interpret that <laughs> you just just use one tiny tiny bad thing to just spoil your own future don't do it don't ah you know Pastor Titi I have been waiting all this while keep waiting there is something good coming your way me I waited three and a half years for my visa Yes, during the three and a half years, it was tough. Very tough. Even some brothers in the church were saying, how now? See, ring cannot do anything. When the heart of man is polluted, it is polluted. Even inside the church, after you wave your hand, glory be to God in that. That is why you must know whom you believe. Know your God. Let the fire keep burning. The bro come that, he came that day. He said, ah, sister, hear me. Anna, <laughs> Anna, and me, as novice as I was, I did not know what I was talking about. And the man did not even miss the word. He said, look, let me continue where your husband stopped, I beg. Nobody will know. But there is a God in heaven. I'm not sure. I don't even know. I don't even know if I would be here if I had given him. What kind of pressure is pressurizing you that you are saying I'm going to give in? Ah, add 
hand over that pressure to God. Let God set to you. Let God say to you, where you are going is fabulous. It is a throne. Just like God took Joseph to the throne. Nobody can take you there. Not a man. No man can take you there. Only God. How long it will take, I don't know. It took Joseph 30 years to get to his own throne. You will get to yours. In the mighty name of Jesus. I tell you, I got to mine. And I'm still pursuing it. And I guarantee you, I will get there. Tell your neighbor, I will get there. Oh, tell me eh, boldly and emphatically, I will get there. Tell to your neighbor and say, I am getting there. Ah, you will get there. In the name of Jesus. You will have that pregnancy. In the name of Jesus. You will have that job. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever, no matter how big and big and big, that dream is you will attain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, don't compromise. Let the fire keep burning. Don't compromise. There's no need to compromise at all. Don't let anybody deceive you. The children of those days that they were telling, oh, you know what? Tell your children. I mean, tell your daddy, I want to go out. My own daughter was enticed too. They told her, run away from home. That correction is too much. I just gave back to my, to my, it wasn't my last baby or my son. Where is this girl that I sent on an errand? I, oh, tell your neighbor, the Holy Spirit is good. The Holy Ghost said, you better begin to drive. My baby was in the house. The younger one was in the house. I didn't see anything. I just locked them inside. Took my key and began to drive. And I saw this little girl. I saw her far away. I just parked beside her. Get inside. Drove back home. Where are you going? He said, they said I can run away. <laughs> they said you can run away. I bind that spirit in Jesus' name. The Lord rebuke that spirit from you in the name of Jesus. And you are saying you will not pray. <laughs> you are not a prayerful woman. Prayerful mother. Prayerful husband. You are lost before you even know. I, I will continue to thank God for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Look at her today now. My, my daughter, uh, if I, she will soon be going further. She has had one degree, second degree, and she's going further. God bless you, bro. Your children will attain. They will be greater than you in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, that is what the enemy wanted to take away from her. But God says no. Mercy says no. When God is saying no, you better agree with God. Because there is something good that is coming. Hallelujah. I said, get in. They say you can run away. <laughs> in fact, see, I can't even beat her. I couldn't beat her. I couldn't spank her. What are you going to do? Your hand is even with that. You just, see, I saw say, sit down there. And I began to look at her. Oluwa, what do I do? What do I do? So I told her, you look, you have a glorious future. Do you know that? This is what we tell all our children. You have a wonderful future. The enemy wants to take it away from you. You better. I thank God she listened. Look at her dear. <laughs> Hallelujah. She's laughing today. I'm laughing today. I'm smiling. Oh, every prodigal children, child, every prodigal child, son or daughter, they are coming back home. We should not lose any of our children in the name of Jesus. It's not because I'm a wonderful mother like that. God just decided to show me mercy. God will show you mercy. I said the Lord will show you mercy. Make sure that you are prayerful. Continue to pray. It looks as if it's down. <laughs> that songwriter says, you, it may be dark now. Faith never sees darkness. 
Even the darkness is close to the day. Don't be discouraged. Brother, sister, never lose your hope. Hold on. Trust God. God will never let you down. God will not let you down. Shall we begin to pray? Two prayer points. Father, make me a testimony. Make me a testimony. Turn this situation to a testimony, oh God. <laughs> the Lord gave me a testimony. He did not allow them to take away my daughter from me. Lord, make me a testimony, Olua. Make me a testimony. Make me a testimony. Make me a testimony, Lord. Make me a testimony, oh God. Make my children testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, help me to wait for your yes when you are saying no. Help me to wait for your yes. Help me to wait for my appointed time. Help me to wait for my appointed time. I shall attain my appointed time. Help me to wait for my appointed time. Help me to wait for my appointed time. Help me, Lord, to wait for my appointed time. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Help me, Lord. 